I primarily do outdoor photography because I really enjoy the solitude. I'm able to escape the world and, and be alone for a little while. You don't have that pressure of having to create that image in front of a bunch of people. You're there waiting for the moment to happen. But once the action actually starts, you sometimes only have seconds. One of my favorite photographs is from earlier this year. I took it at Bas del Apache in New Mexico. It is a location where birds migrate through a couple of times a year. And I woke up one morning with a fellow photographer and we went out to one of the lakes early in the morning and there had to have been 20,000 snow geese just hanging out in this one pond. And he said, just before sunrise, they're gonna all take off in mass. As I heard the sound of them taking off, I just started firing. And to be honest with you, I just started laughing as well and couldn't even look through the viewfinder anymore because I've never heard anything like it. You have the sharpness of that foreground and you see the lake all crisp and then this mass of white blur and you can just feel that roar as they're taking off. The Golden Gate Bridge from the Marin Highlands usually always have fog, always have some sort of clouds going on, but this morning was completely different. This morning had the most colorful sunrise I had ever seen from this location. I've been to this location a thousand times, but it, it just exploded with color like I've never seen before. Once those moments happen, you don't have a lot of time because the sun doesn't wait for you. Once it gets to that point, it ends very quickly. Even a matter of seconds sometimes, you have beautiful light, and then all of a sudden, 30 seconds later, it's gone. So this next shot is another location I've been to many, many times. Uh, the South Rim of the Grand Canyon, but every once in a while, you have this really special moment, something that is completely unexpected. A few weeks earlier, I heard some stories about an inversion. And what that is, the clouds stream into the canyon and fill it below the rim. You can be standing there, and you're above the clouds. Um, this is something that only happens once or twice in a decade, and I was fortunate enough to be there for the last one. In this particular image, I really wanted the viewer to focus on the canyon and the inversion. I didn't put the sun in it, just to keep it nice and simple so the viewer could focus. I wanted the viewer to be drawn into the canyon and, and experience what that was like it seemed like I could just step out and walk across the canyon because there was a carpet of clouds 